Are humans the only species in the universe? Or are there other intelligent beings looking up into the sky from different worlds and asking the same question? And are there more advanced civilizations? What lies beyond what we can see? These questions have inspired countless films and TV shows, books, podcasts, artwork, and conspiracy theories, but the question of whether or not we are truly alone in the universe remains unanswered. However, new technology may be bringing us closer to answers than ever before. Stay glued to this video as we discuss how we may be itching closer to definite answers about extraterrestrial life or more popularly known alien life. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Many people believe that humans are the only civilized life forms in the universe. This notion is reasonable since there has not been any solid evidence that proves otherwise. But things are about to change. According to a NASA expert, scientists will be able to determine whether a group of nearby exoplanets is habitable or not by studying their potential atmospheres. According to NASA astrobiologist Sean Domigal Goldman, the question of whether the Tre Piast 1 exoplanets have atmospheres is the most important scientific investigation that anyone involved in the search for alien life will be doing for potentially a decade. Despite decades of searching for signals and an ever-expanding list of exoplanets, which are planets orbiting other stars, scientists have never discovered evidence of life anywhere other than Earth. Imagine scientists finally proving that aliens actually exist. This will have significant implications for science, philosophy, and religion. The TRAPPIST-1 star system consists of at least seven exoplanets orbiting a dwarf star roughly 40 light years away from Earth that is thought to be the best candidate for potentially habitable worlds, and possibly even life. In essence, these planets resemble Earth and appear to be habitable. While early research has shown that the planets are stony and perhaps temperate, it has been hard to determine with previous technology whether or not they have atmospheres. That was before NASA's most potent space telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, was put into orbit in December. This new technology is what is going to help scientists explore TRAPPIST-1. Webb has already created the most in-depth infrared image of the universe in history by gazing into the cosmos using a massive array of mirrors to help it gather as much light as possible. It has also had its sights set on TRAPPIST-1 as a priority for several weeks. The telescope will be looking for any sign of an atmosphere surrounding the planets. Domingo Goldman mentioned that just like him, many others are wondering if these planets have atmospheres. He reiterated that atmospheres are crucial for the type of habitation. He went on to say that the moon gets just as much energy from the sun as the Earth does, but it doesn't hold on to its atmosphere, so it doesn't have any oceans and it doesn't have any global biosphere. The Trappist worlds are big enough to maintain their atmospheres because more gravity results from the increased mass. The question is whether Trappist-1, their neighboring star, has been violent enough to periodically blast these atmospheres away due to bursts of high-energy radiation. To determine whether these worlds are habitable, it is necessary to determine whether they have atmospheres. Luckily, that's also the most basic thing the James Webb Space Telescope can notice, explained Domingo Goldman. If the James Webb Telescope is successful in identifying atmospheres on any of the Trappist planets, the next task will be to investigate the atmosphere's components. This will shift the focus of research from the capacity of planets to support life to whether they actually support life. This is where it gets complex in the sense that analyzing if these planets support life involves extensive measurements of the planets via a technique known as transit spectroscopy. TRAPPIST-1's light will be captured by James Webb any time it passes through the TRAPPIST exoplanet's atmospheres. Gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, or methane will leave a telltale trace in the starlight that James Webb can detect if this light comes into contact with them. 
Goldman suggested that since biosignatures like those found on the Earth, such as oxygen and ozone produced by plants, may be seen, the focus could simply be directed towards finding them, although this feat might not be so simple. The problem is with the planet's atmosphere. If it contains a lot of oxygen gas and ozone, it may be challenging to study them because they will be trapped beneath the clouds. Ideally, if a planet is habitable and produces a lot of oxygen, it has a global ocean, a hydrological cycle, and cloud decks. Domingo Goldman notes that cloud decks are very effective at blocking the lower atmosphere, which is where all of the oxygen is found. That shouldn't be too much of a problem as methane gas is fortunately an alternative that can indicate the presence of life, particularly as it is known to be produced by living things. Scientists have been working to reduce cow's methane emissions because it is a strong greenhouse gas, hence finding methane coupled with other gases that are intended to muffle it out on another planet is very exciting. It is noticeable that the other gases that are deteriorating alongside the methane are also being replaced. Domingo Goldman claims that this is evidence that methane is not just present, but also rapidly replicating. Methane must be quickly supplied when it is rapidly depleted, showing that this quick replacement is the biosignature. It's unclear when a breakthrough discovery about the Trappist-1 planets can be expected, but with 20 years to look, Webb has plenty of time. The most crucial scientific inquiry or observation that anyone will be making with James Webb Space Telescope or any other facility, likely for the next 5 to 10 years, is whether the Trappist planets in the habitable zone have atmospheres. This is because these planets are thought to be habitable, and it is crucial to the exploration of potentially habitable worlds. That sums up our video for the day. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment to let us know what you think about the Trappist one. Also, be sure to watch also our next video on your screen, which presents the terrifying discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope on Proxima b. As always, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos.